All right, Grand Rising, everyone. <clears throat> it's Shay seeking. Hold on one second. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so again, it's Shalanda, Shay seeking from American Empress Unchained here on YouTube, <clears throat> and American um, Aborigines Unchained on Facebook. And again, I'm being lazy again today. I'm laying here. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm just laying here. Um. And I just wanted to read something because before I could even go and complete Solomon, I had to ask myself, what is really going on? I know that something happened. What is it saying? A ghost was not yet given because that Yeshua was not yet glorified, but the but this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Yeshua was not <clears throat> yet glorified. Many of the people, therefore, when they heard this saying of the truth, this is the prophet. Others said, this is the Christ. But some said, Shall Christ come out of Galilee? Have not the scripture said that Christ cometh of the seed of David? Okay, so this where we at. Okay, so now what we just said today, right? So again, genealogy, right? We we already did this whole thing about Jesse um and David. Um when I was telling what I felt comfortable telling about my family tree and telling you guys that this story repeats itself. And again, there is our ancestors are written into this text. The text, this portion of the text is not as old as we think that it is. And even if it is, it may be another generation ahead of that. This, the, the Bible helped me with genealogy. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So again, I feel like again they that some of my family members may have come from one of these priestly lines. I mean, again, I feel like they're they're. It's not like I feel. It's a, again, we're dealing with Gnosticism. What happened to Gnostics in the past? They were all murdered off and killed off. <laughs> so again, it's surprising because I want to talk about this whole thing about killing someone, right? But I told you guys, it feels as though a masculine. That I was in contact with through spirit was also <clears throat> possibly, and that's the that's the energy that I feel like I got a lot of combative energy, like right in front of your face almost. With the other energy, it seemed like there was a still a, a, some type of a um, mothering. I mean, or, or I don't know. It was like a guiding, you see, a guiding light, right? So even I see it as a, like a father, a son, and the Holy Spirit. I put myself in that Holy Spirit energy as saying what happened to me in real time here had me think about even the whole um, Yeshua Christ energy of the Christ being the light. Right? But again, what sparked that light? That real light that was that has been shining for the past year or more in me. You see what I'm saying? So when it's saying somebody die and go lie in the mountains with your fathers, that makes me think that's like another, to a certain extent, another niche on your on your your akashic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it's something that can uh, penetrate and possibly you know spark something within you having that extra ancestor there, uh, recently passed over ancestors as well. Sometimes I see that because again, some of us don't even know, you know, that we have holy ones, that we are holy ones and that we have holy ones in our lineage. Ones that have been chosen that because of church and things like that and, and you know, uh, well, not I won't say church, but I'll say mass manipulation and indoctrination of the so-called religions today. 
they weren't able to attain the information that we have today that we are using to change what we've been what we've been perceiving all this time and it's been done by design and the more i read this it becomes a part of me it is a part. it is in me it is like i it's like i feel like i am the word you know what i'm saying So I'm tr what I'm trying to figure out is are these two energies altered? You know, again, when they said somebody dies, is that a piece of someone? Because again, I feel like at some point in time through this process, especially now within the past couple of months, after the thing that happened on the 31st with the Bagram Air Airport, I lost that piece. And I've been looking for it ever since. They're there, and I sense that they sense, but it feels as though um, even if I'm seeing something that is saying like they are here in the flesh, right? There's nothing legit that can't be already something that, you know what I'm saying, that can't be something that could be manipulated to look some way. But I know what I feel. I, I can figure out if there's like a portion that was killed off to forget the memory of. Do you see what I'm saying? Because we're dealing with some real deep stuff here, Okay. Again, something, again, we're talking just like the emblem I showed you last night with that, the dog star was serious and all this energy here. We already know that that's some deep energy right there already. So if that's already in, in some of our bloodlines, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Then who's to say, you know what I'm saying? So is that the natural something, that natural essence of the universe or some kind of uh, connection, right? That what, what was natural, how, how our ancestors probably would have communicated with each other back in the day before there were telephones, right? But then when the telephone came in, they actually used it right away to defeat lots of the Indians when it came to the plains and other areas. So again, just think about whatever high-tech things are going on now. But again, do they kill the body or just a part of the mind, a part of the soul? When we're talking about, you know, soul snatching and everything like this, right? So when they when they came around and said that the 13 people died and I said they weren't showing pictures at first and then they started to show pictures right then I knew that there was a part of me that possibly left here. And it was like a taunting thing that that the president did as if saying that a member made sure that wanted to make sure that his things got given to a certain person. You see but it's almost like a taunting thing as if, you know, like I said, I don't know, like, cause I don't know all, to be honest with you, I don't know all the energies that have been around me or attached to me because I could really only see, again, I feel whose source planted there when it comes to those two wands or those two candlesticks. But I can kind of sense other energies around, even those who have gone. So again, I feel like in the biblical text when we're dealing with Solomon, they try to make it seem like every all, the seven the seven uh, women, right, or those seven uh, women are trying to make it seem like the people that are showing these visions and things are demons. I don't know. I'm just like looking at it in a different light here. <clears throat> and then it's making me think about the five five grasshoppers because grasshoppers, you know, unless they're flying, they stay low to the ground. While what I'm telling you is that there's idol there's idols that have already been lifted up above us in society, in in hierarchy, in places of power. They have been having secret meeting and meetings and court cases is what I feel behind the scenes to make sure that the ones, the chosen ones, the elect, were possibly stripped of or left out of by using tactics as in mandatory vaccination so that you don't get your pay out. I mean, even when it was talking about like military members, you know, we're talking about whenever we're talking about soldiers or military in general, I, I think angels. And again, have have some of us been, you know what I'm saying, used some way in, in some type of astral energy or some kind of other energy. And we don't even know that we hold medals of honor in some of these you know what I'm saying? Studies, case studies or labs. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. Okay.
star members, right? So it's, it has me really going back now. And I actually went back on some records that I have to see. Because I feel like something is a luring energy. Even when we're in the Keeper and the Goss, and it says something about the two main, those two main members that we talked about a couple of weeks ago. And again, like I said, <clears throat> sometimes it's hard for me to keep up. I'm not no professional. I'm not no professional with the body. You know, this is just like, a, it, it's freestyle. It's flow. Whatever is current, what source shows me, I, you know what I'm saying? It just comes through me. And then sometimes, you know what I'm saying? That's why I document by speech, you know, a lot of things that, I, that I've gone through and encountered, you know what I'm saying? So I can go back on them. But it was definitely a taunting. And that's not the only time. I, I know the times when I feel a direct message coming from though. Because again, if people can say what they want to say. But the, again, I am someone who is, like I said, a seer or an oracle. And I see energy and I know I can sense direct communication with people that are talking about something. But actually talking about something else. Right? So reading between the headlines. Knowing something that I might have said recently and then seeing one of these encounters and see this is all to so that it would be hard to be proven by someone like me crying from the soil or that wailing wall. Right. So it would like make me look some kind of way. Right. Maybe a mental issue. Right. If I keep talking about things in this manner. Just so happens that in the state, for some random reason, they try to recall and bring up all of these um, things that they want to put in place when it comes to like, when it comes to laws or bills about mental illness. You see what I'm saying here? That's intimidating. They're trying to intimidate. They already make you feel like you're invisible and nobody can really hear you. So it's to intimidate, right? So even when I was just driving, I was thinking, wait a minute, it feels like, well, I, I think in that um, text we were just reading in the video prior to this um, about Solomon, it, it, it seems as though some money was being some funds or some riches or wealth or something was, you know, even, even spiritual gifts were being divvied up. And there's been something on my mind, like I said, about some kind of Akashic record, like an additive. Some some things are natural. And I feel like, again, some of these things, I don't know. <laughs> but I feel like I've been, I went from like a complete panic when I noticed that the energy. And then I went from, okay, this is another punishment from possibly, you know, people trying to play gods on this plane, Right. The, the Iron Dome. These are things that are blocking this. This is why I can't sense that energy anymore. It's almost as if God came into the body of a man. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, this is the depth of it here. And some form of connection was... Uh, supposed to happen I don't know um, and again before I could I feel like again and I'm talking about all the sources of communication but except for some like channeling through music or you know things like that kind of stayed around but it didn't feel genuine so again I don't know if we're still talking you know something like I said that's just on the surface or tech or if actually something actually happened. Or did that connection just die out? Do you see what I'm saying? But it's almost like that energy was here reminding me every day. <laughs> to claim it. To own it. Own up to it. And I kept saying, what though? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? What? And it felt like as soon as when I was getting close to it. That's when I feel like. There was a real rush to get that Iron Dome put up like they really care. You see what I'm saying? Because the whole time when they were telling you one thing, Source is showing me the truth. Unfolding the truth right as the words are coming out of their mouth. So 
So that's probably why I felt like a burden, burdensome energy there. And as if there was some something there trying to <clears throat> perpetrate the energy still being here. There's many layers to this. In real time, this is what I experienced. So again, and it makes it makes me a little sad mm -hmm. because, you know, then that means that something actually happened to someone. And then it makes me sad if somebody's been, you know what I'm saying? Could you imagine? And then it makes me sad because I don't like to speak things because I know these words, especially in this book and when we're dealing with spelling, we're casting spells, right? So it, it makes me sad to even think about it, but I feel like this was a very, it's a very honorable thing that's supposed to be being done here that people behind the scenes are not going to do because they think that they have washed their hands of it and they've gotten, you know, gotten away with something. And then it's kind of offensive and it's kind of sad to me if the person is still there and it's just some form of small miscommunication. And here I am telling this story. But I really do think that there's a problem. I, re I see a problem, okay? I, and I can't, like, it's like I can't be quiet about it. And again, if not, look at this. Wisdom. The unicorn. Angels. Persecution and inquisition. Trust and faith. And that's, again, what I get, what I have to have. Native American, again. These same cards keep popping out even if, look, the arts. In transportation lessons and blessings mm. <clears throat> communal living ships a spouse authority figures vows okay there we go okay I'm just gonna stop right there all right I'm gonna stop right there because this is taking us somewhere already <clears throat> And for those of you who are against uh, the tarot, even though it's in the Torah, right? <laughs> These are only oracle cards, okay? There's a lot worse things going on on this plane, right? There's people doing worse things without the cards. Do you see what I'm saying? Because they'll try to use something small like that to cancel you out is basically what it is. And, and I'll have none of it. Okay. So there was a division among the people because of him. Okay, where David was. Okay. Um, there was a division amongst the people because of him. And I think this has something to do, like I said, with the whole um, Afghan energy here on this plane. When we're talking about spiritual warfare... And if you want to say it's physical, then possibly, right? And some of them would have uh, taken him, but no man laid his uh, laid hands on him. And this him also could be used in etymology. Again, I feel like we're still talking about him can be <clears throat> talking about... Uh, what was I going to say? In this case here, it's, it's showing me something about, uh, remember, uh, well, I don't know who really follows the channel like that, but uh, Balaam, we were talking Balaam and something, and somebody else, Beelzebub, Balaam and Beelzebub, somebody like this, and they came in <clears throat> and were up to something. And and they they said, oh no, she the, the the girl or the damsel or whatever or the girl, is with her lord or her god. And they said, oh no, and he said, I'm I'm leaving out of here. I'm going somewhere else or whatever. And I think the other guy stayed behind. <laughs> like I don't like yeah. The, I don't have room in my brain to make stuff up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just. These things just come when when they need to and go. It says, Then came officers to the chiefs and priests and Pharisees, and they said unto him, Why have ye not brought him? The officer answered, Never, uh, never man spake. Never man spake like this man. 
Then answer them, the Pharisees, are ye also uh, deceived? Okay? That's how it's being spelled here too, spelled out here. Have any of the rulers, okay, or the Pharisees believed on him? And it's just like, really, who are the rulers? But sometimes liars and those who are, you know, taking crafty counsel against people and those who are in those high places. You see what I'm saying? And again, they believe on it, but I think that they, they're tempted to still do whatever it is that they do. Mm -hmm. Cause I, I take it personal because it is personal to me. So either somebody is doing trickery here, or this is de this is dealing with the real deal, real deal here. Okay. <laughs> but this people who knoweth not the law are cursed. <clears throat> Hmm. Okay. So let's go ahead and read. Um, this is John 8. Okay. We, we just came out of 7. I just, something just told me to read that little part here. Okay, so this is about an adulterous woman <clears throat> that was brought out in front of a, a staring crowd. All right, I'm trying to skim through a little bit. Um, and it says, teacher, they said to Jesus or Yeshua, uh, this woman was caught in a, a very act of adultery. Uh, Moses' law says to kill her. What about it? Now, again, Moses in this sense, right? Because you remember what they called <clears throat> Harriet Tubman. To a sense of like a Moses, right? <clears throat> and again, throughout this, and you know, there's feminine energies again that I see in these places here, especially when it comes to Moses. But I think what they're trying to revolse, the, revolse, reverse the osmosis, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The flow or the current, right? I see, you know what I'm saying? I see certain things that people may not see because <laughs> it's happening in real time here, right? And I'm not saying I'm the only one, but I'm just saying it, for me, these things happen in real time to a certain extent, right? And it's that because it's kind of like almost like the whole killing off somebody from even society or killing off someone from a group or some kind of, uh, you know, the kingdom or cutting off the a cornerstone, the, the, the cornerstone, right, or capstone, right? Because, again, we, we, we have to realize there are some masculines, but there's very powerful feminines here, too, as well, that are using certain power, Um Again, in that viperous, uh, brooding, viperous energy in order to get the hooks in. And again, the serpent, again, I look at the serpent as having hooks too. And sometimes I can, I can really relate or correlate with that, that energy as well. They were trying to trap him into saying something they could use against him. See, and what did we just say today? See, source don't bring me up in this book for no reason to be playing with nobody. So most of the time I didn't said the stuff that I'm, when, 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 the, when Elohim and the ancestors are on me and want me to get into something, usually they just letting me know, you can just already said this, but in a different form, just 24 hours ago, just 48 hours ago. Oh, last week, you know what I'm saying? And it's just all coming to here. It's just all coming to. So again, th this Moses person wanted to kill her, right? This could be a masculine or a feminine. Again, today in these bodies that we have, in these vassals, it could be either or. That energy can be residing in a feminine or a masculine, period. I know it because I didn't seen it, all right? So again, <laughs> yeah. And some people are trying to get rid of the elect, period. It just... It is. All right. Okay, so I feel like this is something that passed, that happened already. Look, oh, is this August? Okay, we're in eight, right? John eight, 
So again, August is the eighth month, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so again, they came out of Bagram, what, in the end of July 31st, or was it August 31st? I don't know, but again, it's, it's bringing back memories, even memory, you, because again, I think people don't realize, <clears throat> okay, we'll stop, but again, this is the whole thing, like I, I always keep saying, even yesterday I was saying, even today, I'm like, oh, I know somebody, you know, it feels like some energy is here because of, but every, every time they try, it just proves more the point to me. When I'm really listening to me, it may not to other other people, but again, I say between me, the ancestors, guides, angels, and source. They know. You know? Trying to trap him or her today, right? It could be either or into saying something they could use against him. But Jesus stooped down and wrote in the dust with his finger. Now listen here. I know this may not have nothing to do with this, but what did we look at in that images last night? What did we look at in them images? What, did y'all see that? In, did y'all see when I took you on that little run that we did, looking at the geographical layout? And we found those writings in that sand or in that dirt. And I just can't tell exactly what it said. Maybe it did say uh, Yeshua in Old English. I don't know. Because that's the first thing that came, came to my mind. Something weird like that. Or Isus, at least. Or that's just what it made me think about even. Right? I don't know. Or maybe it says something totally different, but I, I was seeing something like that, like a, um, a reli I don't know. I was just seeing it in that light. I don't know. Okay. That's what I was sensing. But again, see this whole thing about writing, uh, dust with his finger. That's, that's strange that we even found that, you know, they kept demanding an answer. Now I'm not saying that somebody couldn't have done this in real time. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying that that just was something right there. So he stood up against, <clears throat> again and said, all right, hurl the stones at her until she dies. But only he who has never sinned may throw the first. Now, and see, that's what I'm saying. Don't come over here talking no trash. <laughs> Just because you're afraid because religion got you looking at things a certain way. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to, I'm not politically correct when it comes to the Bible, when it comes to politics. None of it. I know how to carry myself in a crowd. I know how to present myself in public places or parties or different things like that. But this is my platform. This is my channel. Nobody should be judging me from what I'm doing on my personal platform, uh, which, again, YouTube is for somewhat in entertainment purposes on, um, purposes anyway. So, again, why was why is somebody using what I'm saying on my platform instead of instead of speaking to me or Zoom calling me in court? Why? Why do I have to? Why do I? Everything has to be so hard. See, and that's that's the same thing with Inanna. Everything had to be so hard because the people in heaven, in the heavens, I feel, did not want to give that power and authority. It's almost like that bird man energy. Like, y'all going to put some respect on my name. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even, I don't think it's nothing personal. I think it's business or it's greed. I think it's something because somebody's holding back something that was possibly gifted or given to the elect or just me. Do you see what I'm saying? I feel like that is what's going on here. So they're just moving the line up even further and further and further. When again, it shouldn't even be none of that. Was right, was right is right and was wrong is wrong. Because I know what connection I had with this God, this living God, what I feel. It stems back way back. New to me, but all of this is bringing all of it up to the surface as much as possible as I can see. And I rather just hope and think that, you know what I'm saying? It, it was just a disconnect and disconnection and uh, something was disconnected and it's going to be, you know, uh, everything is going to be okay. But I do feel like a sense of strong, like a... Uh, 
after that, even all the things that were coming, it just what I was che fact checking all of the things, all the different ways that I feel like the communication was coming in and it just didn't stand up properly. It just it didn't feel the same. And I didn't really think it was nothing to do with me, possibly other things going on, but it just, and even when the energy would come back in, it just wasn't the same. And then it reminded me of what we were reading in the Kibra Nagas when the people had known that the two brothers or the two guys were dead. And then the, 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 the friends decided that they wanted to go and kidnap the woman or the girl. And bring her whatever. But then they said. But then it brought me back to the whole thing about Zion can't be moved. Unless it be by God God himself. So again then after that. Then that energy came in like oh it's you know it's, it's ordained by God. Like it's okay. Trust this. But at the same time I'm just still skeptical. Because it's too much has been done. Too many games have been played. What the hell is really going on? You know what happens when people know too much. So I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Is it a setup? Because that's the whole energy. And it's like, you know, I feel like I do feel like this energy of, you know, someone getting frustrated or upset. But again, I'm not, I don't play with my life. And I know one place where I am safe, even if it's not even comfortable anymore. But people, whoever these people is, they like to torture. They want to see that. They, they will see you struggling in a situation possibly. Knowing that there's a reason why you're in that situation and knowing that, again, nobody should have to just help nobody or do nothing for nobody. But if something is rightfully, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. So to hold something back so somebody else can. So you really just doing it because really just let's just say it. Somebody might be taking crafty counsel. Now, this could be something that happened in the past. This could be something that happened with one of the ancestors. This could be something that just happened now because this is what I sense, Right. But it doesn't have to happen in the same exact order, or it could be something that may be happening in the near future. Whatever it is, this is the way my messages come out, and this is what I see. <clears throat> All right, and 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 then putting my uh, excuse me ears to the streets as being brought into this whole underworld energy right i feel and i don't feel it's the underworld but i'm just saying from the bi biblical aspect i mean from the uh, aspect of inana um <clears throat> to see the cakes that were being baked which I, which um to me represent you know um i think like card readings you know what i'm saying is um and and also just like uh you know, small additives being uh, added to the batter or added to the mix. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Without really telling the story, it just started to pick up my ear. You know what I'm saying? To a certain thing like, man, this is the same stuff that I'm seeing and thinking. You know what I'm saying? This whole thing has been strange. And it, it's like, I, I'm damned if I do, I'm damned if I don't. But I I, I want to talk about it because at the same time, this is a history. I mean, not even history. This is just like a, you know, like this is just something. You know what I'm saying? And if we don't tell it like this, if we don't tell these experiences, these signs and wonders, like it says in the Bible, these visions and the, these things, then again, it leaves room for people to do the same type of thing with indoctrination to our children in the future. And no one see, even if I have to, and, and I won't be the damn scapegoat, but even if that's what they're trying to do, because all of those things that they're throwing are going to just be turned right back on their heads. Because I know something that they don't know. Lots of things. But they think because, again, they pack power in their punches because of their political arena, their positions of power, these type of things, these platforms. That they can drain out that strength that should be coming or that comes from the mustard seed. Oh, my goodness. Why am I getting deja vu right now? <laughs> Trippy. All right, because again, 
for me, there, there's no adulterous. Women talk to angels. Women talk to men in the Bible and everything like that. There's never been anything on my side in the physical, in the 3D that I've done. This, all this stuff that I've been telling y'all for the past year and a half, this is all telepathic, telekinesis. This is all different type of, or spiritual senses. This is all just using my gifts. My eye, my mind's eye. That connection with source, being in the most high, you know, in my host, most high self. <clears throat> So I'm going to go ahead and skip down to this portion here. So again, the eldest unto the last and Yeshua left alone and the woman standing in the midst. Okay. Okay. So the woman was left standing in the midst. This is making me think about the midst of the garden even to a certain extent. Wait, okay. And they which heard it being convicted by their own conscience went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Yeshua was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. Okay. Oh, maybe, maybe this is correlating again with energy, possibly of another time, okay? And possibly that energy, you know, like I said. This energy of Yeshua left alone. And the woman standing in the midst. Hmm. When Yeshua had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine um those thine accused accusers? Apology, I don't have my glasses. Hath no man condemned thee? She said, no man. She said, no. She said, no man. I don't know why it's written that way. No man, Lord. And Yeshua said unto her, neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. But again, I mean, I don't know who this woman is. But again, like I said, <laughs> but I guess even the thought of, but then when it comes to the masculine energies in the, in the biblical, why doesn't go, why doesn't it go the same way? <clears throat> right? Why doesn't it go the same way? Because again, I can, that's the thing about keeping me distracted. Because <clears throat> I can counter, <clears throat> excuse me, these things in real time. And those in the heavens and those in other places, you know what I'm saying? Possibly, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's the same thing. They're, when they're sitting there talking, I can already read between the headlines. When we're reading this text, I can read between the lines. It's in real time. And I feel like this is why they keep me distracted with other things. Right? And then after this, then spake Yeshua again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. So again, now is Christ. Okay, so now again, we talked about this part here. We talked about how these things are written here. Because again, you have Jesus, but you always have that light behind his head. I feel like that's the Christ energy. And I said, when did we lose the Christ energy there? Because Jesus to me is a ma the masculine por portion of that energy. In order for it to be complete and whole, it has to be Yeshua Christ. But if Yeshua, again, has ended up with the light, whether it was taken or given, I doubt it was given, so if that Yeshua energy ended up with that light, how did they get it? Is it by killing off? Do you see what I'm saying? Is it by killing off, either disconnecting, you know what I'm saying, making some alterations or something like that to blind or bind that, into that, that, that feminine energy, the wisdom or the Holy Spirit? Again, 
and then that that person end up becoming the light because they consume that portion you see because i don't know i feel like guilty conscious or something you know and i think you know maybe like a lot of ways that i talk just because it's so direct i think people think i'm coming off cocky or i'm trying to harm someone but i'm just doing exactly what again the energy within me does and I feel like even in that book, The Spring, that's probably why that girl, um, Esther, that's why Esther's dad didn't want her scrying and doing her work because it was probably going to be putting some people that he might have been in business with. And remember, we pulled men's business, men's business earlier. You know, it would probably rub them the wrong way. <laughs> but Elijah was getting her pull, getting her out of that and telling her to go into that to tap into that energy i think that we can really do something with this it can change the world you know what i'm saying right so again the other feminine energies or masculine what, whatever did anything get in the way god running forces you know what i'm saying foreign entities get in the way to cut off that light and just make it so that one energy was that light by dimming the light, by at least, we're talking about the Aquarius energy or the star. Being trapped in that in that pyramid shape on that emblem. So a part of it is like the higher self of that, that uh, God energy that I feel was the, a living God energy on this plane throughout that time. Part of that is telling me, challenge everything, dig deeper. It's yours. I left you my portion. This energy here, right? The heads in the cloud energy, right? And then there's another portion here in real time that's kind of like, you know, just chill. Everything going to be handled. And it's just like, I just, you know what I'm saying? I just don't know. But it's just popping in and out here and there. And I don't like, no, I like consistency. You know, I'm trying to be consistent. You know, but then it's always like it feels like something leaves me feeling like it's my fault or whatever, or I made a mistake or I ruined something. But this other energy keeps popping in <laughs> saying, no, you there's something you have to do. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's always, gonna, you know what I'm saying? But you have to do these things or you have to acknowledge or you have to say it. So, again. What are we talking about? Are we talking about replacement energy here? Are we talking about, again, some kind of altering of the mind, like mind altering or bending or hypnosis that might make somebody forget? Do you see what I'm saying? It could be any level of things. We talk about clones and stuff like that, but that could just be meaning somebody was re rewired or put under hypnosis in a certain thing that they should remember or a certain person that they don't want them to remember or someone to remember. They can eliminate that. That part of the brain that accesses that. So even when it comes to an antidote, any of this stuff could possibly do that. That's what I'm, that's what I'm concerned about. So again, <clears throat> it says, The Pharisees therefore said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself. Okay? Thy record is not true. See? Now why would they say that? See? Why would they say that? Of thyself. It's almost like they're saying, you're saying that you, you're, you're that light yourself. But that's not true. Because the light of the world is the Christ energy. That's why it separates it here, over here in, in John 7. And now there's 1 John and 2 John. But we're in John, just regular John. It's almost like that whole energy of um, uh, when Samael said, I'm the only one or something. And they said, that's not true, Samael. Right? Almost like in, in American Gods, when Bilquis went to go visit the grandma and they were talking. And she said, um, yeah, you make sure you let that shadow moon know that he's not the only one. You remember that? And, and remember his wife was the dead girl. You get my drift? So again, what is that in those cards that we pulled, the zombie cards? Yeshua answered and said unto them, though I hear record of myself. 
So again, but you see this record, you know, that made me think about a record, like a vinyl record, right? Though I hear record of myself. So again, this energy here, this is a soul. I'm telling you, this is a soul or a twin flame connection, a mirroring effect of energy. It's something just like the words here. I, the same thing, some of us that channel through music, it's the same thing for me. But it goes a lot deeper. One and the same, twin flame, the whole Elijah energy with Esther, that they were going to become one. So again, this is scary to read this because I'm, I'm not 100% sure. But again, when it comes to Venus and mounting um, and the thalamus energy that, you know what I'm saying, these thrones also are, again, it, it, if you think about it in a different way, it, I think that represents something deep, deeper. <sighs> Ow, my side. Mm, 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 mm. So again, though I hear record of myself, so again, and that's the energy that I was thinking today, like, damn, what, where, what did, what did all this happen? When did I do this wake up thing? Well, you know, I was upset, right? And I was, um, I was seeking source a couple years back, going through all these problems with my sleep and everything like this, you know, staying up three days and I was just going through a whole bunch of stuff, going through studies and stuff, you know, blood work and stuff like that. Right? I mean, it's like 14, 13, 13 years ago, possibly, is when that whole journey started. Right? So I'm wondering how long, now I know this thing, I, it took me, right, to start looking at something differently and doing my detective work to realize, wait a minute, even if I wasn't aware, something's been going on for 10 years or more. Something on this level has been going on. Oh, definitely. Right? Right? But I didn't get a, 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 a I didn't get a swift wake up call or pulled into it until this past year, probably a year and a half. And throughout that time, I've learned a lot. I would have to say probably about my my subconscious, which is probably the area that's blinded, in which the area that leaves us under um, able to be under attack. The most. So that whole thing we did on Earth that time when I said some um, to um, summons or call on the son of the north is the same thing that's being said. People try to make it like evil or something. It's the same thing that's being said in the Bible because you're not realizing that's a feminine aspect of God. And right here, I pulled a couple of cards uh, before I came in here, right? And, and look, the number four, okay? The guardian, king... The guardian king of the north. Now, this also makes me think about north node. There is somewhat of an Asian uh, man here on this card, which makes me think about Asian mi minor, right? He's kind of like has a shaman looking approach to him. But that's the first card that came out. And I didn't even realize that these were underneath it. So let's just look at those two. I thought I only pulled one. The water family. Again, here's that. Yeah, here's the we are water energy here. Okay. All right, so again, a reflect, look at here, okay, because you know, when I first started to realize this whole thing about some kind of twin flame thing, I was looking at it as somebody that kind of reflects yourself, like you can see yourself in them, right? And the, you know, so again, like I told you guys, at the end of the day, it feels like this was just, a, um, you know, possibly one way of a fatherly connection at times sometimes I'm me me feeling like I'm dealing with a father figure or someone that is just supposed to boost something right or even dealing with someone that you know needs a hug right you know what I'm saying dealing with the things in this world so again it was mostly that but then there was times when I feel like it was again something else all right something much deeper an, a, a, okay and I'll say that <clears throat> it was just a natural feeling like I said right but n nothing like the, the energy towards the end it was more challenging the water energy was more challenging 
you know, I know it was probably something I needed, right? It was like, like I said, more of that energy. I see so much of myself, but being pushed. The Guardian was that just that. It made me be able to relax a little bit. Not feel so much under attack. When I sit, when I pr prayed or, or uh, communed, it was almost like, And, and I said, you know, like, it was overwhelming. I said, I can't take it no more. Like, I feel like, you know, these downloads were coming in too fast. And, and, and I heard his voice say, done. And I, and I was, it just went away. Right? So, again, oh, y'all remember me talking about the fire king. So, we have the fire family for the eternal flame. All right? And then sunrise. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Okay. Oh my goodness. Wait. <laughs> One of my soul siblings just did something. She pulled some cards that she created herself and she put, it was 14, 14. Right here we have one and four. The eternal flame card is four. The sunrise card is one. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's nobody's business. The ring of stars. Now, there's something about this ring, right? There's something about this ring from the Kiber Nagas. Nobody in this world can tell me that there. When I when I read this portion, that portion of that book, nothing in the world could tell me. Nothing in the world can tell me. There was supposed to be, regardless of everything else. I don't care. What was pitched, what was pro pro projected, anything. There was a ring. That ring was supposed, it was a ring and something else. Another piece of jewelry. But the ring stood out to me because I feel like I've seen the ring, the ring in the 3D. And, and that was going to let me know that this was the real thing. That we're talking the real stuff from that book. That was the gate. That was the the legitimate thing on this plane that I feel was supposed to be the thing that told that let me know all of this was legit. It was presented in a vision several times. At times when something would come up, and I'm like, "Well, what is this talk?" And that that was presented a vision of it. And I don't know if it was as proof or just confirming or whatever it was. And I'm afraid that, again, possibly, you know, it's almost like a Disney movie or something where something ends up in the wrong hands of the wrong people. Because it was, it was supposed to have qualities to it. From what I was getting from it, that was just my personal interpretation of it. And again, I did videos in real time when we were talking about that. It's just I don't want to and I don't have to go all the way back into it. You can just go look on the channel and see what it is. The most interesting videos are going to be from the past year and a half or so. They kind of they kind of talk about the journey. <laughs> so I'm just concerned and I just... Uh, I'm just getting sick to my stomach right now because I'm just feeling like, oh man, you know, perception is everything. And and I, and that's why I don't trust like images and videos and stuff. You know, if I, you know, I don't. But again, I, if anybody ever tries to, how this whole thing happened for me started out in the spirit realm only start i think source had to let me in or the ancestors had to let me in slowly then it became i can sense energies around 
then it came to the point where, okay, this, and then that connection. Then I started to notice that I'm channeling possibly through music, that I'm channeling through even some of these uh, shows or whatever, that I'm channeling through this, 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 and that. And, excuse me, and then, it moves on. And again, I, I have my own particular receipts in a sense, <clears throat> things that I've documented or written in my journals, you know what I'm saying, uh, to go with it. And that's all I'll say about that. All right. It is true for I know whence I come and whether I go. Now, y'all remember me making a big old stink or a big deal about that when when um, your president got up and said, oh, yeah, uh, we're going to be doing this since you know who you are and you know where you from or where you going. And it was right after I did that video. So, like, y'all could be talking all you want to, but, again, usually these things are already documented in my videos. And I tell you exactly how I feel, what it was, and what it was. That's why these people don't want me talking. That's why they don't want my channel just to be free. That's why they got that noose around it. I'm telling you. Or else there's no way that this platform, not saying that my information is all that, but it's so different that there's no way that this platform would be not growing if it, at all. No, there's a... The platform was already growing before any of this stuff happened. It wasn't until, again, the videos that I did, like I said, that that the, it started to shrink. Nobody just goes from 300 views a day. I can put a video out and put it on just my Facebook and in my group and get that many views a day to getting just one or seven. There's, there, you know, and the content is totally different. No, there's no way. All right? So people can think what they want, but I know what I know. <clears throat> so that, so again, it makes it seem cold hearted, defensive. Oh, you don't know what you're doing. Just trust in this. But again, nobody knows the journey. What I feel like I'm fighting for. What I feel like after all the connection between me and this energy, am I just sitting here letting somebody else do something? Somebody else that probably could have been involved in something that happened with them. I can't do it. And if I just look stupid at the end of the day tomorrow, no oh well. Or it could be another lifetime because these connections that I have, I know are not the first lifetime. They've already been. And in those lifetimes, I do sense that they killed, that people conspired to do something. But do I feel like something new is being done this time? Yes. But do I feel like, is it too late? Do I feel like everybody agrees with that new thing? No. And that leaves people, you know what I'm saying? Even though we don't die like that, right? <laughs> Again, inspiration. Every journey starts with a single step. Oh, this card reminds me of something. Mm. The sacred fool. Relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. Collaborative dreaming. Oh, these are reminding me. Faith in the process. Trust yourself. Free from judgment. Free to love.
So it says, um, okay, I hear a uh, record of myself. Yet my record is true. For I know whence I came and whither I go. Uh, yea, judge after the flesh. I judge no man. And yet, if I judge, my judgment is true. For I am not alone, but I am the Father that sent me. <laughs> Whew, what is today? Okay, because again, I just heard. I feel like, you know, there's channel, channeling me through. Ooh. Oh, actually, and it's funny because I feel like it's like a transfer of energy where some people are starting to see, you know, like we're trusting in ourselves and doing these things here when it comes to the cards. And um, There was a soul sibling that just said something. Um, I'm newer to her um, platform, but she just said something about uh, that something that sounds just, 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 just like this. Just the last video that I just turned off my TV said the same thing, just like this. Because I think she was saying that she wanted to do like a prayer before her video. Um, but a lot of people are going to judge somebody because, you know. Right? And I'm just glad that we are moving away from those old, like, views on things to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? If ain't nobody doing nothing crazy or whatever. So what do you think? Every tarot reader is going to hell? You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's just those old things and just to the point where how I talk about oh excuse me where I talk about um just the capital like I said with the capital energy here and then also um mm, oh with also the rest of the capitals or again high priestess Again, we are the ones that we have been waiting for. And it's funny how just saying about that whole energy, right? When it comes to the flesh, because I feel like that's that energy that's been trying to like kind of lure me into, you know, really uh, focusing on the flesh. And I'm, you know, I'm like, whatever it is, it is, you know, but I think that is like a um, intimidating part. But like, this is my flesh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Flesh of my flesh and bone of my bone. So it's kind of like going into this part right here where I, I think this is where, where I came here. We're going to start getting into it about who's the father and what, okay? So that's what my main thing was to figure out here, okay? So so this was this. Um, like I said, I just had to bring that up because, again, it's just so funny because somebody I had already had a plan to do this on this video a couple of hours ago. I come home, I start up a video for a second. I couldn't finish the whole thing, but she said something like this that reminded me exactly of this here. <clears throat> right? And that's why I call them soul siblings because I feel like, again, in some way, some of us are connected. But we'll see what it says here. <clears throat> because, you know, they'll make something that is natural or of nature satanic in a minute just because giving it that name. So, again, I like to clarify things. So it says, it is also uh, written in your law. 
that the testimony of two men is true. Okay? It is also written in your law that the test... So again, this is what the Pharisees are saying to him, maybe or her, because him, he and him also, again, I know he does, um, can be used as she um, in etymology. And I think him as well, but I don't want to misquote. So you have to look that up again yourself. <laughs> Thou um, bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true. Jesus answered and said unto them, <clears throat> Okay, I hear record of myself, uh, yet my record is true. For I know whence I came and whither I go, but yea, cannot tell whence I came and whether I go. Yea, judge after the flesh. I judge no man. <clears throat> um, and yet, if I judge, my judgment is true. Okay, we already read that. Okay, so it is also written in your law. So again, this is somebody saying something about now in your law, right? So somebody is being told something here and is saying, now it's also written in your law <clears throat> that the testimony of two men is true. Um, I am one that bears witness of myself, okay? And the Father that sent me uh, beareth witness of me. Then said they unto him, Where is thy Father? Um, and Yeshua answered, Yea, neither, <clears throat> yea, wow, neither know me nor my Father. If ye know me, ye should have known my father also. Okay? Now, again, I'm not the only one that was listening to her video either. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Other people were listening to her video. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I feel like it's necessary. I, whenever those things happen, I like, I may not tell you exactly who it is, but I'll tell you what it is. So it says, these words spake Yeshua in the treasury. So I don't know what this is. Um, that could have been a coincidence. Or again, this could have been a direct message. Because I've seen it happen in real time many a times. All right? As he taught in the temple and no man <clears throat> laid hands on him, for his hour was not yet come. Then said Yeshua again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whither I go, ye cannot come. Then said the Jews, will he kill himself? Okay? And it says, um, because he said, whether I go, yea, cannot come. And he said unto them, yea, are from beneath. I am from above ye, or yea. <clears throat> I am from above, yea, are of this world. I am not of this world. Right? So this makes me think of being foreign or alien or even just someone who is from, you know, across a border or something of that sense. Okay? Oh, my goodness. Why did I just hear Brazil? Again. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, is this what this is? Are we back to that energy of bring back my sons and daughters from afar? No child left behind energy. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? And Yeshua said unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. I have many things to say and to judge of you, but that he that sent me is true. And I speak to the world these things which I have heard of him. All right. Okay, Yeshua told them these claims are even true. So again, I think she was saying something about the tarot 
you know, like I said, the whole energy of people giving people, you know, judging and then also, you know, talking bad about people for doing some of these things here, right? Like using cards and stuff like that. All right. Because again, in this in this level of ascension, but these are the same word. Okay, so a lot of us, the elect, could be saying these things because something is about to happen. Because it's the same thing. When I just read this part right here, but they still didn't understand that he was talking to them about, about God. That he was talk Jesus was talking to them about God. Oh my goodness. In this energy here. It was just the same thing like how I was feeling. Like I told y'all before. That it feels like yeah I'm here as a messenger. I'm here as something. You know what I'm saying. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it's true. You know what I'm saying. I have. I, I, I still have faith. You know what I'm saying? In that connection with source, right? But it's um it like I told you, sometimes I feel like I'm not really, you know what I'm saying, Every, while everybody's running to build and do all these things, sometimes to me it feels like, you know, I feel like it's one foot on and off the ground, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, with the the, the land and water, but it also so I, I'm not really balanced, so I don't really know what you know what I'm saying, what to because it feels like I'm although I'm here helping people understand what they could be doing or should be doing or whatever when it comes to this inner when this energy it feels like I'm not going to be here to enjoy it anyway so maybe that's why I really don't care so much or something you know what I'm saying to try to focus on those kind of things but I don't know I I don't know exactly I really don't know Because <clears throat> me, I don't judge people in the flesh, but I feel like even tonight looking in the mirror and seeing that I feel like, I, you know what I'm saying, around my waist, I'm like, hold on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I feel like I, I used to be someone that was like a gossipy a long time ago or somebody that would just say stuff about people. You know what I'm saying? Just And realize that it's just kind of mean just to be somebody that just... Somebody's walking down the street or something and I say something. So, like I said, this whole year has transformed me. But again, it, that whole same thing is your own self, what you're saying to yourself. So what if my stomach looked a little bit bigger? You know what I'm saying? I didn't think like, oh, you're so ugly and fat, and, you know, like that or anything. But it was just like, oh, my goodness. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Maybe, you know, hold back on the gummy bears. <laughs> you know, so like that's like the energy that I feel like I was just feeling there. You know? Um, Because <clears throat> again, I feel like there is some judgment. And I, I'm going to go ahead and finish her video to see what else she was saying. But it says, so Jesus said, um, when you have killed uh, the Messiah, okay? Then you will realize that I am he, um, that I have not been telling you my own ideas. Okay, that I am he and I have not been telling you my own ideas, but have spoken what the father taught me. And he who sent me is with me. He has not deserted me, for I always do things that are pleasing to him. Okay, so again, this is the energy here. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Okay. So, I don't know. I don't know this 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 whole energy of this Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. not I, I don't know right because again it, it's now that it's wrapping around it's just many people that i've heard saying these particular things like in their own words because we're all unique and again in their own words this is what i've been witnessing throughout and again this is not nothing forever it just has been happening again for the past year or more 
Then many of the Jewish leaders who heard him say these things began believing him to be the Messiah. Okay? Jesus said to them, you are truly my disciples if you live as I tell you to. <clears throat> well, and like I said, I'll have to go back and see. I mean, because again, this is like a, I feel like this is a connective or collective energy. Okay? Um, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. But we are descendants of Abraham, they said, and have never been slaves to any man on earth. What do you mean, set free? Yeshua replied, you are slaves of sin, every one of you. And slaves don't have rights. But the son has every right there is. <clears throat> So if the son, okay, so we were talking about Jesus here, but now we're talking about the son here. Hmm. Wait, we use the Messiah as well. Hmm. But we are descendants of Abraham, um, they said, um, and have never been slaves to any man on earth, any man on earth. Okay. Because over there, uh, right above that is saying that they're not from here or someone's not from here. You know what I'm saying? But. I mean, this is making me think like alien or foreign, but alien actually is a foreigner. You know what I'm saying? So it's, you know what I'm saying? Once you look it up and etymology is kind of like, you know, the same or whatever. So it doesn't, you know, our perception is totally to think about a green person with big black eyes or something. I mean, could be, could be. Do you see what I'm saying? Because we've seen those images in there. We seen those images in the in the ground the other day. So again, that okay, that could be a form of viewing judgment, right? But it wasn't. It just kind of shocked me to see that there, right? Let's see. You are truly okay. We already did this part, but we are the seeds of Abraham. Hmm. And they have never been slaves. Um, what do you mean, set free? Uh, Yeshua replied, you are slaves of sin, every one of you. And the slaves don't have rights. But the son has every right there is. Son, I mean, so if the son, let's see, sets you free, you will indeed be free. Yes, I realize that you are descendants of Abraham. And yet some of you are trying to kill me because my message does not find a home within your hearts. Okay, so this is where I was coming from. Because this is the hate I feel that, again, a lot of us, I know I experience. So, again, a lot of us. And it's always, again, the same thing with this luring energy. It, it feels like it is really something that I should take heed to. But it's just the movement doesn't match up, again, because it's not really a complete, you know what I'm saying? It's not really a complete, you know, it's just like off a cliff or like a open-ended thing or something right no sense of like real direction once it gets to that point because <clears throat> who who really is going to choose to you know what i'm saying who really is going to choose to say you know you you think that you're speaking with or meeting with jesus or god or whatever and you saying i'm not gonna go you know but again i guess also with the whole thing of the fleshly thing you know, if you do go that route, <clears throat> that's 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 uh, trusting in the flesh instead of again ascending there. You see what I'm saying, or going there in the mind, the mental act, possibly, right? But you are following um, the advice of your father. Our father is Abraham. They declared, okay. 
So again, I don't know who this is. I mean, I didn't talk this or whatever, but this is a, my messages I feel are universal. Just because it's being spoken through me doesn't mean that. Just like, again, that young lady said, that doesn't mean that 20 other people or 100 other people didn't give the same message tonight. It's a universal thing. It's it's the, the seeds being the, that are planted. It is, again, the interconnecting of a collective energy here in one likeness or one mind energy. For if he were, okay, you would follow his good example, but instead you are trying to kill me and all because I told you the truth. I heard from God, Abraham would do a, wouldn't do a thing like that. Uh, no, you are obeying, uh, you are obeying your real father when you act that way. And again, I don't know this make, I, I don't know why I'm getting like Moorish or the Muslim, you know, energy again here. Okay. The sword and the star. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't know why I'm getting that. It just so happens that that was next to that emblem last night. So I really don't know. Right. Um, maybe Allah energy here. Okay. This this may be a la energy here. They replied, we were not born out of wedlock. Okay, our true father is God himself. So this is somebody trying to convince, yeah, somebody that, again, the true, yeah. They were not born out of wedlock. And again, wedlock, people seem to think that's like a union between two people, like with your marriage, I about to say receipt, <laughs> certificate. But again, I think that that is also just talking about not being, when you were born, whether it was out of the birth canal of your mother or birthing nations, right? That when they were born into this, they were... Um, they were represented and nationalized or, you know, um, something like this when it comes to your nationality or something of that sort. Is I feel like that's what I'm getting here, possibly. Okay? <clears throat> they replied, uh, yeah, we are not, um, our true father um, is God himself. So again, this might be someone even taking a different route there saying, well, okay, your father, you know, talking about God of Abraham, you know what I'm saying? But again, we are not born, uh, you know, our true father is God himself, you know. And it says, Yeshua told them, if that were so, then you would love me. Let me see. If that were so, then you would love me, for I have come to you from God. I am not here on my own, but he sent me. Why can't you understand what I am saying? It is because you are pervert. Wait, I was about to say perverted. Uh, apologies, okay? You are prevented from doing so, okay? For you are children of your father, the devil, and you love to do the evil things he does. He was a murderer. From the beginning and a hater of truth okay there is not an iota of truth in him when he lies it is perfectly normal for he is the father of liars and so when i tell the truth you just naturally don't believe it wow you know what this is making me think about the antidote I don't know. This is just making me different, thinking about different things, different ways of manipulating, you know, mind or uh, perceptions and things like this. Mass manipulation, even in a sense. To the point where, again, people can't comprehend. You know? And again, it, this has to be a certain state of mind because not to say I know everything, but I'm just saying it's something, like I said, that I... I don't know, like I can, I really have a, like even if you're my worst enemy, I can kind of listen to what you're saying and I can, you know, like I can compromise, you know, like that kind of thing or whatever. It don't always have to be my way. You know what I'm saying? I can in, it, see it from both points of view to a, a certain point, right? <laughs> it 
And again, when he lies, it's perfectly normal. And again, the father, remember that, that's a landlord. That's a landlord, a presiding energy there. And it's just like when people say something, they just, you know, when just because it's on the news or just because the governing forces say it, they just believe it, you know? But also, even again, when it goes to spirituality and some of these things, just believing something. So just like even a sense, like how many times have I almost gotten to a certain point where, you know, I might have stepped or crossed over a line because I was just believing something, right? Because somebody else was saying that it was okay or luring me. You know, that's why a lot of stuff I reflect back to myself <laughs> in deep thought. People don't like that I take so long for stuff or, or into the word. And sometimes I even have to, you know, it's, it's nice to rely on other soul siblings, again, especially when you don't have a lot of people around you and like mine. And because none of this is on the 3D here, and it is all in the mind, you know what I'm saying? You, Who are you combating or who are you warring against or, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying with that energy. Which of you can truthfully accuse me of one single sin? No one, you know, this is the energy, you know, people call this like cockiness or whatever, but this is the, the energy that I'm saying for myself of being rebirthed. See, we pulled that card about rebirth, renewing ever since source planted this energy in my, there's nothing more important in my life. Even when I think or thought this energy was that important is if it be the, the will of source, if it be the will of source. No matter how tempting, if it be the will and the ancestor, I have to throw them in there because <laughs> that would be, you know, well, not an ancestor, but it would be, you know what I'm saying? In that sense. No one. And since I'm telling you the truth, why don't you believe me? And again, that's the same thing we were saying today on this platform. You know, I don't know why these people don't, you know. And again, so I'm not the only one that can relate to this here. Anyone whose father is God listens gladly to the words of God. Since you don't. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. It proves you aren't his children. You Samaritans, foreign, you Samaritan foreigner, devil. Woo, the Jewish leader snarled. Didn't we say all <clears throat> along you were possessed by a demon? No, Yeshua said. I have no demon in me. Oh, look at this. This is what I just said. That the seven sisters, they just jealous. And it, when it comes to the demons that was dealing with Solomon, they was trying to figure out any kind of way for him to kill that person. Even even claiming all of a sudden that one girl in the Bible that was a, a Shemazite or Shema, something that he wanted to marry in the end. Try to cast her out as if she was a foreigner. And it's like, no, nah, y'all the foreigners. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold on. And I don't know who that lady is, but I can relate in, with that story because I feel like that's what the so-called community that I helped bring out of the ground and out of slavery in that sense of mind, you know, that mental slavery, you know what I'm saying, that, that tried to press that whole thing of to get us out of that way of thinking. And that's what you, that's how you repay me? Not like I'm the only one, you know what I'm saying, but I'm just saying that's how... I mean, not even looking at whole, like, letting people do whatever they want to do in the group, you know? Even, you know, people was tripping on me because I let, you know, uh, so-called moors in the group. You know what I'm saying? But again, not to get on all of that, I'm just saying. What what I'm just saying is, um, you got it? Okay, sorry. Okay, I mean, just put it out the way. Um, but anyways, I always tell people, for me... You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting for source to let me know what I need to do. And again, maybe I can't hear that part or maybe I don't want to or maybe I'm not. Maybe I am demon. You know what I'm saying? Not. You know what I'm saying? People can look at it in that sense. 
Because again, once I researched demon really good, it just meant to do with a natural intelligence that you had at birth. But again, we were indoctrinated in school and we were educated. And education means to lead out that which is naturally there and replace it with something else. <clears throat> So again, um, again, I look at myself as a, a toxinist. So if a, a toxinist means demon, you know what I'm saying? And this is just me doing a little bit of my own self. But you may see it differently. Again, you're welcome to do so. <clears throat> I don't want people to think like me. I just want us to think or see, you know. Um, for I honor my father. And again, this is th that emblem there is my father's. You know what I'm saying? That's my, my grandfather's name. You know what I'm saying? On there. You know what I'm saying? And this is Veterans Day we're talking about. These are military men. These are, you know what I'm saying? Because we don't, we, don't really, uh, we don't really amplify that portion that our, in so-called black communities, that our grandfathers were in these wars as well. You know, uh, er, the other groups. Now, don't even get me wrong, and you can get mad if you won't, but other groups really, you know, do a lot more to honor that. Not saying that you have to. I ain't saying, you know what I'm saying? It ain't important about honoring that establishment, right? If you don't feel that way, right? But again, just honoring the father, your father's period. I mean, it's a part of the commandments. So how could you forget about your ancestors, you know? <clears throat> And though I have no wish to make myself great, God wants this for me and judges those who reject me with all the um, earnestness I have. I tell you this, no one who obeys me shall ever die. The leaders of the, Jew, of the Jews said, um, <clears throat> now we know, now, then this is a bothersome energy for me. Okay. Okay, I see exactly what it is. Okay, I think I do right here. I feel like uh, possibly this could be something here. I, I don't know. I'm seeing, I'm hearing silence. And it's that tourist energy, the bull, that just f feels like, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm wondering what God is this that we're talking about then? Mm, Y'all, stop. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to go ahead and simmer on this for a second, y'all. All right. The leaders of Jews said, um, now we know you are possessed by a demon. Well, th so these are just leaders, the same leaders that are probably possessed themselves. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> And this is what I'm saying. Even the, the seven sisters. See, okay, this is even making me think like I said about that energy. Because people are already standing in power. They're using their power and their platforms in a malicious way, actually. But they're trying to, again, vilify and crucify that energy. That Christ and that Jesus energy. Even Abraham and the mightiest prophet died. Now, this dying could be... They're just trying to find anything to hear you say so that you can be cast out and you don't have, you know, that's why the smart, some of the ones that think they so intelligent have just, that were cursing and, you know, and we're not going to judge anybody in that light, but I'm just saying speaking so vulgar. Again, we can't judge them though still, right? We'll sit there and try to see you do the same thing, maybe even a lesser value, right? And then they will... Those are the people that are in positions of power that are going to vex you out of your, you know, place and take the place when, again, you know good and damn well some of these people and how they operate behind closed doors because they were just smart enough to just be silent and hide. Have you really transformed? Or are you just hiding yourself? If something is being done, are you just hiding yourself on platforms behind the scenes and not on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram, which are these public 
you know, where everybody is at. So again, they can't fool me with this energy here because again, just with, like with that Bilko's energy, I was before Aphrodite, I was before a lot of these in, entities here. And it's not, it's not even in that light of trying to be cocky. It's just, I, I deal with that energy. Most people don't even know what a toxinous is. See, that's why it's always a battle, I think, between this energy and how they might then title it Lilith. The mother of the heavens and earth. Because there was all, she, how can there be balance there when, when the, the, the heavens won't accept her and the earth won't either? So it leaves her levitating in midair. It leaves, it leaves that feminine energy because nobody really wants it there because masculine energy wants to, you see, in my eyes. Again, this is my platform. I'll have to pay for whatever it is at the end of the day, which I don't think, you know what I'm saying? That This is just how I'm just saying it, okay? Because y'all know I call things out in the text call things out with myself as well okay but it already said that Jesus some of these rules is not the same for the Jesus energy <laughs> it's different excuse me God wants this for me and judges those who reject me. So again, this is make, I gave you everything I, wait a minute. It's something about like I left you everything I love. And I noticed there's a lot of breadcrumbing. Again, love bombing and breadcrumbing. Still. Even Abraham, the mightiest prophet, died. Wow. And yet you say that obeying you will keep a man from dying. So you are great than our father Abraham who died and greater than the prophets who died. Who do you think you are? Then Yeshua told them this. If I am merely boasting about myself, it doesn't count. But it is my father and you claim him as your God. Who is saying these glorious things about me. But you do not even know him. I do. If I said otherwise, I would be as great a liar as you. But if, but it is true, I know him and fully obey him. Your father Abraham. Well, it can't be silence because, hmm. It feels like a lot more people would not. Yeah. Okay. So, um, let's see. I would be a great, um, be as great as a liar as you. But it is true. I know him fully and I'll fully obey him. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. He knew I was coming and was glad. The Jewish leaders, you aren't even 50 years old. <clears throat> the Jewish leaders say you aren't even 50 years old. Sure, you've seen Abraham. Yeshua, the absolute truth is what um, is that. I was in existence before Abraham was ever born. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 At that point, the Jewish leaders picked up stones to kill him but Yeshua was hidden from them and walked past them and left the temple mm. Mm -mm -mm. there is one who seeks and judges 
All right, y'all. Hold on. I think that's it. <laughs> hold on. We going home. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. It's still tripping me out because I can't even. <laughs> I'm going to keep reading, y'all. I'm going to have to keep reading. I'm going to read through nine. As he was walking, he saw a man blind from birth. And it says, Master, the disciples asked him, why was this man born blind? Was it a result of his own sins or those of his parents? Neither, Yeshua answered. But to dim demon, there we go with that word, to demonstrate the power of God. All of us must quickly carry out the task assigned us by the one who sent me. Okay, here's another soul sibling here that just said something to this. Yeah. For there is little time left before the night falls and all work comes to an end. But while I am still here in the world, I give it my light. Then he spat on the ground and made mud from the spittle and smoothed it over the mud over the blind man's eye and told him go and wash in the pool okay so again i feel like i've already done this here even another soul sibling was saying something about um uh baptism today and i told him go wash in the pool of siloam the word silum means scent. So the man went where he was sent and washed and came back, seeing. And his neighbors, the others who knew him, as a blind beggar asks each other, and this same fellow, is that the same beggar? Some said yes, and some said no. It can't be the same man, they thought, but he surely looks like him. And the beggar said, I am the same man. Then they asked him how in the world he could see what happened. And he told them a man. But again, you know, I mean, I don't know who this is. Maybe this is someone. Uh, maybe it's, you know, like I said, maybe me. You know what I'm saying? Last year. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. But again, that would be the sun then. Yeah, then maybe that's why we said the sun, right? So again, it says to prove that the reason why this was done since birth was to prove that. So again, there's birthing could be birthing of the nations that happened just recently, right? Under our noses. Or this could be talking about somebody that couldn't see since they were, they always had like an imperfection or whatever in their vision since they were little. But again, I feel like for me, you know, I, I had an awakening these past 10 years or more, 
but not so much as nothing compared to what happened this year. So, again, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.